Hey there, my lovely Pisces. This is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be the next 48 hours. What's going on in the next 48 hours in love, relationships, money. So we're going to get the tea on what's going on, what you can expect. So let's get some energy for Pisces. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, at the bottom we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So there could be something very unexpected coming in for you. Okay, let's get some more energy for Pisces. Okay, we have building blocks. You could be building on something, right? Okay, let's get some more energy. What's going on with Pisces money? Okay, we have luck is on your side. I'm liking this. New moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So it looks like Pisces, your fortunes could be changing. You know, luck is on your side the next 48 hours. So if you're expecting something to go your way, this is a very good time. If you're expecting to, you know, start something within the next 48 hours, you know, you have these building blocks here. You know, there may be something that you're building, something you're anticipating on building. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your energy. My lovely Pisces. Okay, by the way, this is a timeless reading. So when you see this reading is when you're meant to receive it. And if you could smash that subscribe and like button if you haven't already. I really appreciate you. I love you. Okay, so let's get some energy for Pisces. Temperance. I feel like you've been very patient. The will of fortune in reverse. Okay. The two of swords in reverse. There's something that you're waiting for. You're waiting for something to happen, my lovely Pisces. And you're not willing to make a choice because you really don't want to rush things. You really don't want to feel like it's being forced. So you're just waiting. You're having a lot of patience in the situation. Because um, I feel like you're waiting for the right time. You know, I feel like the timing just isn't right for something just yet. Okay, but I mean, luck is on your side right now, Pisces. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. So it feels like you won't be waiting for too long. It seems like you're going to be taking action on something. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Devil in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of reversals here. What is going on? The Judgment in reverse. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Of course. Of course. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. I feel like with this, these readings, thank goodness this is like the last one of you know, the next 48 hour series, because it seems like all of the signs have been going through it this week, you know, this next 48 hours. It's just all the energy and I've cleansed my space. I've, you know, done the smudging. I've, yes. And it's like still coming up with this energy and I'm just so over it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my lovely Pisces, I feel like you're being very patient in this situation. Like I said, I, I feel like you're trying to figure out the way something should be going. You know, the way you, you want it to go. You know, you have an idea in your head of what, 
you feel like the situation should go like. So you're waiting for this to happen. You're waiting for some sort of sign, you know. And I feel like, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you're like clinging to control here. You know, you're, you're clinging on something not moving in the direction it needs to go in just yet. You know, you're holding on to something so that it can't move forward. You know, but doing this, you're not making any decisions neither. You know, you're not making an important choice that you need to make. You're just letting things go with the flow, right? You're letting things move on its own. Like you're like choosing between two situations that you feel both situations are going to go bad. So you're kind of waiting for the one to choose that will be the lesser of two evils, if that makes sense, right? The Knight of Wands, okay, my lovely Knight of Wands, at least there's movement here. The Knight of Wands, I mean, they, in certain situations, you're fearless. You know, you're moving forward. You're ready to make those moves. You're, you may be just traveling at the moment. You know, you may be on the road going on destinations, taking a trip. Okay? So maybe you just don't want to make any decisions because right now you're moving. You're in movement. Okay? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of dissatisfaction here. Your overall energy is the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is being unfulfilled. Being, you know, your wishes not being fulfilled. A sad dissatisfaction. Okay. The, the devil in reverse. This is being able to free yourself from this dissatisfaction. But maybe not doing it. You know, not putting in the work to to free yourself because there's freedom here. You have an avenue to release this energy, to release this dissatisfaction. You know, this whole bottom row is in reverse. Actually, the whole second row is in reverse. Okay, so I mean, there's some choices that you can make to release you from the situation and then... You're choosing not to walk away. You're choosing not to let it go, to hold on to it. Now, in, in a lot of ways, Pisces, I feel like it's pain that you're holding on to. I mean, you could be moving forward, but still holding on to pain from the past. Not willing to let it go because you feel like it defines you, but not actually moving forward because the past has consumed you. Right? And I, I feel like it's really deep. You know, you have the tools that you need to move forward, Pisces. But you're not willing to put in the work to get to your destination. Okay? Um, I feel like the past has been an issue for so many readings this week seriously there's so many and I, I feel like there's so many who are caught between lessons that they should have learned during past experiences and you know learning those lessons but not really putting those lessons into use so that it doesn't go full circle and, you know, things become a spinning wheel. Okay? Um, I mean, it's real. You could feel like you're on a hamster wheel with certain situations. Like you, you just experience the same thing over and over and over. You know, you're just on this ending cycle that doesn't necessarily seem to end you know you're waiting for this new cycle to begin but 
maybe it is that you haven't truly adhered to the lessons that you've learned in the past so that you don't revisit those cycles again, right? Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Right now, I feel like, you know, you may be very uninspired right now. You know, you just have a lack of energy, a lack of drive. You don't have any motivation to move forward at the moment, right? And it could be due to this feeling of just being in doubt. You know, there's a lot of doubt here. Not having the awareness to push forward, you know, not wanting to release something. Maybe releasing something that you know no longer serves you, but now you're in that stuck energy because you haven't released what you know that is doing you no more good. Right? Because you're avoiding change. You know, you may have a fear of losing something that you're trying to hold on to, but you know no longer serves a purpose. You know, you're just avoiding the ine inevitable. You know, and I feel like, you know, that could be making you moody. You know, there, there may be some kind of feelings of dissatisfaction, you know, um, and I feel like, you know, with, with this Knight of Cups in reverse, I feel like you're waiting for an apology that you may never receive, you know, you may never receive this apology from this person, if this is a person that you're waiting for, you feel like if you just receive an apology for them, you know, you'll be able to move forward. You'll be able to, you know, see things in a different light, overcome these challenges and, you know, find that passion again, find that drive. But this apology ain't going to change anything. You know, you need to find that drive within yourself. Find your happiness for yourself. Find this love for yourself. Take control of your life. You know, go on a new adventure. You know? I, I feel like that's exactly what this boils down to. You're waiting for an apology for somebody. And that apology you may not receive. All the actions that you need to take are within yourself. You have the ability to find your happiness to find new love, to take your control back, okay, to start over fresh, to have this fresh start, this fresh new beginning, you know, and I feel like, you know, you have the authority, I mean, you have the ability to boss up over all this energy and start again, okay, you have that ability my lovely Pisces. And I feel like, you know, this advice here is going to help you with that. You know, we have the lovers, we have the ten of cups, we have the, the king of wands. This is taking action. This is not being afraid to do the inevitable. You know, being fearless. The emperor, taking back your control, having that authority, you know, being bold, being daring, being courageous. The full card, you know, going on that new journey, taking a leap of faith. You know, walking into your new beginning, into your fresh start. Not even aware of where it may lead you. You know, there may be something that you need to leave behind, something that is done and over with. But I feel like, you know, there's something better. There's something better for you. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some angel cards for my lovely Pisces. Ooh. 
Let's get some angel cards. What does Pisces need to hear next 48 hours? We have spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Okay. And we have outdoors. Archangel Jaffiel, go outside, get some fresh air and connect to nature and relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Okay, so it may be time to get out there, spread your wings, enjoy life, you know, get out there in nature and see what life has to offer. Um, maybe you've been cooped up too much, my beautiful Pisces. Okay, let's get your angel number. We have 1717, self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, and your ambition. You have an important mission and life purpose. Lean on your inner strength. Will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Your affirmation. As I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay, so that is your affirmation and your angel number, my beautiful Pisces. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Also take a look at my, my collective readings, which I have um, my love readings in there. If you know, you're interested in love, in what your person has messages for you for. Um, take a look at those. And until your next reading, my beautiful Pisces, many blessings to you. Love and light.